Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my 2015 yearly favorites and this video is in collaboration with my YouTube friend, um, Alexandria, and I'm gonna link all her stuff down below. She did her own yearly favorites as well. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make this video not long at all. So yeah, let's just get started. So first I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer this year was the Renewed Hope by Philosophy. It's oil free, it's super lightweight, and it was definitely one of my favorite things to moisturize my face with. My top primer would have to be my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing, and this stuff just smooths your face out so good and fills in all your pores so you're ready for foundation, and I have used this definitely, definitely the most this year. For foundation, I've used a lot throughout the year, a lot of different ones. I'm always trying out new stuff, so I couldn't really pick a favorite or like a top that I always went to, but definitely lately my favorite has been the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It's full coverage, it lasts all day, and I that's what I look for most. It covers, lasts all day, and I seem to have no problems with it, so I would definitely say this is my top foundation for 2015. For concealer, I've also tried out a million concealers this year, but I would have to say my favorite would be the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer by Tarte. It seems like very thick, but when you blend it out, it blends out really nicely. It covers, I like the yellowness tint to this shade, it's light sand and it just really seems to brighten up my area you guys know I have dark circles like no other so this seems to cover it up without me mixing like a bunch of different concealers together so yeah that would be my favorite my favorite blush for this year would have to be the Laura Geller big swirl gelato like papaya colored blush just used blush this year. I love it. I wear it every day. It's just a really bright pink and I like to wear a lot of blush so I didn't have to put that much on since the color was very bright and vivid so this was definitely my favorite favorite blush. Okay so for contouring I used the NARS Paloma in the beginning of 2015 like forever. This was my only contour palette that I had so this came with like the one contour shade and then just one light shade. I wasn't really big in contouring in the beginning of 2015 um, I just kind of, you know, just used the two shades and kept it moving. Just recently, I actually got like a real contour palette and I got the Tartiste by Tarte. This is amazing. I use the blush every freaking day and all these shades are just awesome. So I just recently started getting into getting into all the different shades and all that stuff. So my favorite for 2015 would probably be the NARS and then just recently my favorite would be the Tartiste. So let's get into eyeshadows. So my favorite single eyeshadow of 2015 has to be my ColourPop. This is in the color Fringe and this was a very like glittery, sparkly color and I love this because I could also use it as a highlighter. I use it a lot on my nose so it could be like really sparkly. Um, but this has been my favorite single eyeshadow, definitely. Went on so smooth, it lasted all day, and the ColourPop is always a win because their prices are amazing and quality is amazing as well. My favorite eyeshadow palette, you guys have seen this in like every single one of my videos probably, is the Buxom um, eyeshadow. This one is in Dolly Wildside, so this one came already pre-made. And this has been my favorite because you guys know I love my rose tones, eyeshadows, lips, all that kind of stuff, like dusty rose colors. So this has been my go-to palette. I pretty much wear it every single day. Um, you can make it your own palette. You just pick out the colors and put them in. Love this. So for eyeliner, this has definitely been my most used in 2015. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and this one is the brush tip one. I also have the ink liner, but I love them both equally. The ink liner one is just a little black, more black than this one, but they're both awesome. They stay put all day 
and yeah, I have no problems with them. They last me a really long time as well. My favorite mascara for 2015 will definitely have to be my Princess Lash by Essence. This stuff is amazing. It makes your lashes thick, big, full, whatever you need it to do, this has your back. Like, it coats my lashes so big and it makes them look like I have false lashes, so I wear this every single day if I'm not wearing actual false lashes. So yeah, this was definitely my favorite for 2015. And then my actual favorite lashes for 2015, I don't have them in the box because I just used them the other day and I misplaced them, but they're the Ardell Demi Wispies or just the Wispies in general. They are my favorite lashes ever. They're just really natural looking and it just flatters my makeup a lot. So yeah, and they're super lightweight. The band is really thin, so it doesn't look anything noticeable. Like no one's like, oh my God, like I love your false lashes. Like people think they're my real lashes. For powders, you guys already know my Smashbox Photo Finish Powder is my favorite. I use this every single day in 2015. I have not changed my routine at all. That's why there's this big ass dent in there. Um, but that would definitely be my favorite powder for setting my makeup. It just adds a little bit of extra coverage and more flawlessness to my foundation. Favorite highlighter for 2015 is my Becca Opal. I can't open it because I broke it the other day when I was filming. I was so upset, you guys, like no lie. So I had to put it back together. Um, I'm gonna spray like alcohol on it and actually put it back together. I just don't have the, I haven't had the time to do it. But this has definitely been my most favorite highlighter of 2015. It is amazing if you use it wet or in conjunction Awesome, like that's what I have on my nose as you can tell and that shit blinging. So I forgot to put this in the video as usual. I know I'm a great filmer, but I wanted to show you guys my favorite lipstick. So this was definitely my favorite liquid lipstick. This is Trap by ColourPop. You guys already seen me swatch this probably like a million times, but it's a very dusty type of pink. And then my favorite lipstick formula of the year would have to be Stila. So these are really comfortable to wear. They're not as drying. And you guys have seen me use Fiery before, and this one's Aria. This is probably one of my favorites as well. It's like a really magenta type color. Okay, so I probably should have mentioned this when I was talking about my moisturizer, but um, my favorite cleanser to for 2015 would have to be my Michael Todd. Um, this is their Charcoal Detox Deep Pore Cleanser. This just gets all my makeup off all at once with one pump, which is what I love. And afterwards, my skin feels so smooth and baby soft, which I really, really like as well. So. I love this stuff. This has definitely been my favorite. Um, before this, I was using the Shiseido, and it was okay. I just feel like to get all my makeup off, that that was bomb. Um, for my mask, it would have to be Glam Glow. I know everyone and their mom is probably gonna say the same thing, but this stuff is awesome. A little bit goes a long way. I know the price is kind of steep for a mask, but if you really like doing masks and you want something to take care of your skin, like Glam Glow is it. This is the acne one. I don't really have acne problems, but I do get a couple breakouts here and there. So this helps it. Cool thing about this is that when you put it on, it forms like a lot of dots where you're most oily at and for me it's my nose and like right here which is probably for most people as well but you should see all the dots I know it's kind of gross but it's kind of cool it just I don't know and you know what areas in your face are most oily but yeah this is awesome my favorite mask of 2015 for sure fragrance my favorite fragrance is secret I talked about this in my November favorites so you guys already know the deal but this fragrance lasts all day on me which is what I love and it smells so good it smells if you like really like fruity scents or like flowery scents this is for you go to Victoria's Secret and try it out because this is awesome I think this is like 49 bucks and you get a little bit but I'm telling you you only need like one spray because it's so strong mm, I love it so that is it for my yearly favorites of 2015 I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's probably all over the place but I had to film this video like 300 times because 
previously it was not working out so this is like my third time filming this so I just want to get it done and over with because oh I've been getting so frustrated so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your favorites down below in the comments and I will see you guys in my next one bye